Crimson Tide already have the number one recruiting class in the class of 2023. However, they're already getting an early start on their 2024 class. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day. And the Crimson Tide currently have the fourth best recruiting class so far in the class of 2024. And you know that they're just getting started. And so today, you know, it's never too early to take a little peek into the future. So today we're going to be taking a look at Alabama's top five recruits that they brought in so far in the class of 2024. Be sure to leave this video a like, comment down below after watching all the players. Who is your guys' favorite pickup in this class? And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see Alabama win the Natty next year. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the future of Alabama football. Three, two, one. To start things off, the Crimson Tide brought in the four-star athlete standing at 6'3", 241 pounds, Martavius Collins. This guy, as you can see, he's either going to be playing some tight end or DN. Either way, he's going to be a force on the field that you're going to have to reckon with. This guy is a big, big, big body out here. Just one of those guys that you know, just he, he just looks like an Alabama football player. Like, if you were to go to this game and you were to be like, one of these kids, you know, has an offer from Alabama. It would be quite clear to see which one you're talking about. It is crazy to see him, though, that he could be playing tight end at the next level. This quarterback didn't care at all. He just threw it straight at him. He's like, hey, but you just go make something happen. And these are only his sophomore highlights, so he's gotten bigger than this in his junior year and more explosive. And his route running is kind of nice out here. You can, hey, he got a little bit of nice route running. They go lock him up. Drive him back. Let's go. Finishing through the whistle. Yeah, Alabama, y'all definitely got one in Martavius Collins. Oh, pff, easy touchdown. So this is your latest pickup in the class of 2024, your four-star edge rusher, Sterling Dixon. I actually made a solo video on him a little bit earlier today. This guy is a super, super rangy linebacker. He says he's listed as an edge rusher. I do see him also being able to stand up and play a little bit of linebacker. And as you can see, he has no problem running through anybody. Great motor, fl flies around the field, never gives up on the play. You'll see it a little bit later on in, in his highlight tape. He gets double teamed and he just throws guys off of him, but he, he gets double teamed and he still fights through the double team to get after the quarterback. Again, like a lot of guys right here, as soon as all right, the tackle chips him and then the, the running back picks up, they're just going to kind of stop. Nope. Keeps on fighting through. Tells the quarterback, come here. I'm not done with you yet. Phenomenal, phenomenal motor. Just ripping helmets off, throw them up off you and go make the tackle. Come screaming out that edge again. Another double team. Goes and hunts him upfield and goes and makes a tackle. Great motor. And as we should already know, Alabama has been wide receiver U for the past couple of years now. Not the only wide receiver U, but they've definitely been one of them ones. And this is the third best receiver in the entire country, standing at 6'3", 202 pounds, Perry Thompson. This kid is a huge wide receiver. Just get him up off you, and he's smooth too. Just walk into the end zone real quick, why don't you? Again, Alabama has been getting great wide receiver talent, and a guy like Perry Thompson is no no exception to that rule. Wait a second, how did he, where, how did he even catch this? He just threw an arm up and came down with it. I, li I like his mentality too, he's just real smooth about it. He's just real calm, he's just like, I'll do this. What, what, there ain't nothing special happening. <laughs> Cameraman, keep up. Yeah, Alabama got them one of the best receivers in the class. And I'm excited to see once he gets to Alabama. Cameraman, keep up. It's not that hard to keep a ball in frame. But once he gets into that Alabama wide receiver room and they really start to develop him and not just have him be just a big body receiver, but let him really start learning how to get in and out of his breaks, you know, and then really get that those yards after the catch up. That's where he's going to be a force at, for Alabama. But this is just a smooth player overall. Next up, Alabama landed themselves one of the pure best talents in the class of 2024 in five-star quarterback Julian Sand. This guy, the, now don't get me wrong, there's a ton of top-tier quarterback uh, just talent in the class of 2024. But Julian Sand is up there. I mean, he has a phenomenal arm. Where he shines the most to me is accuracy and just being consistent. Overall, very, very consistent with getting the ball out. A very accurate throw. He doesn't really throw the ball into any dangerous windows. He's a very solid quarterback overall. I still think that there's a couple of quarterbacks who are a little bit better, just pure talents than him in this class. But 
he's ranked some some have him ranked as the second best quarterback others have him ranked closer to four or five i have him a little bit closer to four or five either way to get a top five quarterback in this class on top of the other talent that you guys already got is a phenomenal pickup and as you can see he's dropping this ball into a bucket out here And last but certainly not least, Alabama always has to get one of the pure best players in the entire country. And y'all did so by bringing in the number one player in Alabama, the second best corner in the country, and the ninth best recruit in the class of 2024 in Jalen Mbakwe. This guy is just a pure athlete. You get, you get him the ball and good things are going to happen. And on the defensive side of the ball, you want to keep the ball away from him because he's going to torch you. I mean, look at the speed that he's just, he's up out of there and gone. Get to flying, get to flying. Just, just pull away down the side. Like, all those guys had an angle on him, and he still found a way to outrun it all. Yeah, he's just so explosive out here. I really want to see what he's looking like on the defensive side of the ball, but these are his these are his overall just junior uh junior highlights. I mean, just look at this, my man, yo, he, he had that just having fun. He just playing around with the teams. He's like, hey, man, this is too easy. Let me, let me go get my little degree and call it a day and go to Alabama. This kid is cold on the field. Oh, way to break that route off. Way to break that route off. Hey, wide receiver is always calling his name. He could easily switch over to wide receiver running routes like that. Yeah, Jalen Mbakwe. This is this is one of them ones. He he is going to be a straight up force for you guys. They have him listed as a corner. I don't doubt that he's one of the best corners in the country, but if you told me he's also one of the best receivers in the country, I would believe you. So those are the top five recruits that the Alabama Crimson Tide have brought in so far in the class of 2024. Like I said, it is so early in this recruiting class for the junior class that the fact that Alabama's already brought in this much just talent at the top end it just shows how great this 2024 class is going to be. All my Alabama fans, leave this video a like and comment down below who was your guys' favorite pickup. For me, it's Perry Thompson and Jalen Mbakwe. I think that both of those guys are just absolute units. And Martavius Collins has the highest ceiling. If that guy turns into anything that he's built like, he is going to be a force on the defensive or offensive side of the ball. Or he could he be one of the one of the only college football players that is truly playing both sides of the ball? We never know, but we'll have to just find out. So again, be sure to leave this video a like, comment down below who's your guys' favorite pickup, and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see Alabama win the Natty next year. And with all that being said, I love and appreciate all y'all, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.